So, I have been living in my van now for approximately two weeks and honestly, it has been the biggest learning curve of my life. I knew it was going to be difficult. I always had that in my head. I was like, well, it's obviously it. the little things are going to be a challenge, but they really are a challenge, you know? The things you don't think about when you're living in a home, you have to start thinking about in a van. For example, where you source water, how often you have to source water. Basically, everything I do sort of has a consequence and I have to be strict in my routine in order to keep everything going the way it should without any problems. If I want to wash up, I need to make sure that I, a, I have enough water and B, I have enough space in my grey water tank to empty the water. But if that's not the case and I haven't found a spot to do that, I can't wash up, but I need to drive to get to the spot to do that. And I can't drive until I've washed up. So <laughs> it's about planning, making sure you have a routine in place. It gets messy so quickly. I really have to like make an active effort every day, make sure everything's in its spot which is something that I'm not used to doing. Well, I, I had spots for things in my flat. It, I could get away with being messy because I could just put it in the corner of a room and not worry about it and it wouldn't affect my day. It wouldn't affect what I do next or, you know, whereas here the space is so limited that everything has to be put away before I drive. So that's a good thing. That means, that means I'm like keeping tidy as I go, which is great. So bear with me. I am just making lunch. Um, I'm making balsamic vinegar and olive oil tomatoes on a bagel. And then I'm going to have a side of celery and ginger juice. So far, I'm loving van life. I'm solving each problem bit by bit, one by one. And if I see the if I see the picture zoomed out and too big, then I get overwhelmed and stressed and naturally I'll panic. So I'm going to put in on my tomatoes, a bit of balsamic vinegar. Quite a bit actually. Got my salt. Going to mix it up. So I'm just going to fry my bagel. I don't even have a frying pan. I'm using like a saucepan, so it doesn't quite like, hey, it's makeshift for now. I'm also now going to prep my celery juice. Now I have this amazing thing. Um, it's called a blend jet. It charges by USB. So I'm able to charge it either in my van or out and about. And it doesn't use basically a three pin plug, which is amazing celery and then I'm thinking I might add some extra greens in here because um, I've got some spinach so I might do that I'm gonna do a few of these these are on the turn anyway so let's get a bit of water this is water from my water filter and then all you got to do is put the top on and blend it it's unreal <laughs> it's blended into something It's not great, <clears throat> not gonna lie to you, but it's for the health, you know. I'm just gonna tie my hair up because I wanna really enjoy my food. Also, I kind of, I definitely am gonna spill something on this new top, so I am going to do these. I just wanna enjoy myself, honestly. That is rancid, don't make that. I have got ready for work um, and now I am writing Christmas cards. These are prints that I made um, with my lino cutting tool. Um, this is the design. It's uh, two cats by a fireplace. And I'm gonna head to work in about 20 minutes. Merry Christmas. Parking at work is absolutely, it was stressful in a car, but it's now a million times more stressful in a van. When I get in, I'm going to have a hot water bottle, maybe make myself a hot chocolate. So tomorrow morning I have a meeting in London. So tonight I have to park somewhere, like leave the van somewhere safe while I get the train in. So I'm gonna park at a friend's tonight and get the train in in the morning and then go straight from my meeting in London to work um, and then pick up my van at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna do hot water bottle pretty much immediately because I'm freezing. I'm about five hours into my shift and 
I needed to get some dinner, but I can always rely on Tesco, which is near, to have reduced uh, stuff from the Yo Sushi section. I got a whole feast, so I got this Korean beef rib rice bowl, which needs heating, but it's a rice bowl. And then also the salmon and avocado sushi with crispy onions. Oh, I can't wait. So that's gonna be my starter, and then I'm gonna have this. 